there! Welcome to Ledger Tutorials. I'm Rami from Ledger, and today I'm going to walk you through migrating from your existing Ledger Nano to your new Ledger Flex. To start, it's worth pointing out that you can migrate from your existing Ledger device to your new Ledger device in a couple of ways. The first is to use your secret recovery freeze. If you don't have it, but you have the pin to your existing Ledger device, you can use that to complete this process. If you have one of those two, don't worry. You're doing the right thing by watching this official Ledger tutorial, and I'm going to show you all the steps involved. Before I do, it's important to understand what migrating from your existing Ledger device to your new Ledger device means, so it's clear how both processes work. Your wallet contains the keys you use to access your assets, and your keys are generated from your secret recovery freeze. So, if you have it, you can use it to set up your new Ledger device. But if you don't, you can set up your new Ledger device with new keys that control new addresses, and then use your existing Ledger device to send your assets to them. You can control them using these keys in your new Ledger device. So you're migrating custody, but you're not migrating your digital assets themselves. That's because your assets are stored on a blockchain, not in your wallet. You control your assets on the blockchain through the keys in your wallet. Let's get started. If you've already paired your Ledger device with Ledger Live and set it up with a name and PIN, you can skip ahead. The first thing we're going to do is download the Ledger Live app onto your smartphone. Go to the App Store or Play Store to download the Ledger Live app. Open the Ledger Live app to get started and set up your Ledger. Next, choose your Ledger device. Now your phone will start looking for a Ledger device, so we need to turn it on. Also, make sure Bluetooth is enabled on your phone. Next, turn on your Ledger device so it can be found by pressing and holding the button on the right side. Tap to continue, and when your phone has found your device, you will see the code that enables pairing. Check that the code on your phone is the same as the code on your Ledger device. And if it is, press yes on your device and the pairing will begin. And we're done. The Ledger device is now paired. Next, you need to check that your Ledger device is official and that the operating system is up to date. The device check function is designed so that only genuine Ledger devices will be able to communicate with the Ledger Live interface. So this is an important safety feature to confirm. On your phone, tap Check Ledger. And on your device, tap Allow to establish a secure connection. Then the checks will start. And if everything is correct, great, you can continue. Now you can name your device. Tap Set Name and then confirm once you've set one you're happy with. It's time to choose a pin to lock and unlock your Ledger device. Tap Choose My Pin and then enter a pin that contains between four and eight digits. We recommend using eight digits for maximum security. Confirm your pin and now your pin is set. Now I'm going to show you how to set up your new Ledger device. Start by tapping to continue and then choose Set Up as New Ledger. You'll see some information about generating your secret recovery phrase. This is important because it is the foundation of your Ledger device's security. Tap continue when you're ready, and then I understand. Now you need to start recording the 24 words in your secret recovery phrase. I must say at this point that we are showing this part for demonstration purposes only. Never show your secret recovery phrase to anyone. Do not take a photo of it as that can put you at risk of being hacked. You and only you should have physical record of it and this is what the recovery sheets are for. Keep them safe and out of reach. Once you wrap the prompt on the screen and you're ready to record your secret recovery phrase, tap continue. Write down the first group of four words in the correct space on your recovery sheet. Then tap next to reveal the next four words and repeat this until all 24 spots are filled. Tap Done, and you'll be asked to start confirming that all 24 words have been recorded correctly. Tap Start Confirmation, and check you have recorded the right word in the right place on your recovery sheet. If you've confirmed all 24 words correctly, you'll see Secret Recovery Phrase Confirmed, and tap to continue. Now, you'll see some important reminders about keeping your phrase safe. Now, the final part of setting up your secret recovery phrase is choosing whether you're happy to only record your phrase on the recovery sheet or if you'd like a digital backup as well. The digital option Ledger provides is called Ledger Recover, which is an optional subscription service that backs up your wallet access. 
This means if you ever lose your secret recovery phrase, you can still recover your private keys using your Ledger Recover ID. For this video, I'm going to show you the process that does not involve a digital backup. On your phone, tap no, I'm good with paper. Then read the disclaimer, tap I understand, and you can proceed. We're almost done. You just need to install the blockchain apps on your Ledger device that let you communicate with the corresponding blockchain so you can review and sign transactions for the crypto you own. On your phone, read the prompt about blockchain apps and then tap Install Now to start using your Ledger device to manage your digital assets. You can also customize your device by giving it a name or displaying your favorite NFT on the screen. It's your Ledger device. Get creative and enjoy it. And that's it. Your Ledger device is set up, customized, and ready to use with Ledger Live. If you have the secret recovery phrase from your existing Ledger device, I'm not going to show you how to use it. If you don't have your phrase, but you do have the pin to your existing Ledger device, you can skip to the next section. Start by tapping to continue, then choose restore and Restore with your secret recovery phrase. You'll be asked the length of your phrase, which is usually 24 words. Then you need to add each word in order. It's a good idea to do this carefully rather than quickly, as it's the key step in the migration process. While that's happening, let's talk about backing up your phrase. You can keep a paper record of it on a recovery sheet or use a secure digital backup like Ledger Recover, or for extra safety, both. If you've entered all the words correctly, you'll see the confirmation message and tap to continue. Your new Ledger device is ready to use. If you don't have your phrase, but you do have the pin to your existing Ledger device, you'll need to set it up with a new secret recovery phrase that generates new keys that control new addresses. You can then migrate custody of your assets from your existing Ledger device to your new one via Ledger Live. In Ledger Live, you need to create new accounts for all the assets you currently control with your existing Ledger device. Now, you need to open your existing Ledger device and send your assets to the new addresses generated in Ledger Live. Make sure to verify these receiving addresses on your secure screen to ensure maximum security. It's worth taking your time to check and double check everything is correct. Then, once your assets have been transferred, your new Ledger device is ready to use to securely manage your assets. In this video, we covered all the steps involved in migrating from your existing Ledger Nano to your new Ledger Flex. Whether you have your secret recovery phrase available or just a pin to your existing Ledger device. Thanks for watching this Ledger tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel for more. And if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to comment. Till next time, stay secure.